Welcome back to my channel, Blank Conception, where we talk about money, stocks, wealth, pretty much all things financially related. I am back here today on this beautiful Monday afternoon where I'm going to do a quick book overview on the most recent book I just read. It is called The Path with uh, Peter Malik with guest star Tony Robbins. These are both great people, very motivational, uh, financially related type of people. And they came together, wrote this book together, and it was very good. I would personally rate it 8.5 out of 10. And I have read hundreds of audiobooks. As you know, I love audiobooks. I'll leave a link below. I read almost 200 in 2020 alone, or listened to um, audiobook. If you're out there, you should sponsor me because I love your audiobooks. But getting back on track, this book was very well. My friend told me about it. It came out about a week ago. I have read it one time. I plan on reading it one more time in this upcoming week. Um, so this is just going to be an overview. If you want me to do like a summary, uh, leave a like, comment below, and I'll make another video for you. So first off, what I very first noticed about this book, it, it is very modern, and I love that about the book. All these other books I've read, they're like 10, 20, 30 years ago. This book was written in current times in the year 2020. Um, as you know, the Rona Rona is going on right now, and they talk about that a little bit. Every so often, they'll bring it up. But I love it. it is about current times. They have current information. And I just love that because all these other books are written a long time ago, and this is modern. Um, also, it is a great overview of everything financially related. And uh, most of this stuff I already knew in this book. There was a couple, like one, two, three, four things I didn't know that I learned. And I appreciate for learning that about this book. Um, but, you know, it helps retrain your brain to constantly get uh, this information. Re repetition, you know. As you guys know, I love repetition. Uh, constantly doing it over and over again. That's how you get it better. And this book really repeats information a lot that I've already learned in the past, uh, but it's always good to learn it again because it gets stuck in your brain more. Also, this book discusses topics I have never heard ever in any financial related type of book, and I've read hundreds of them. And that is about, I'm gonna talk about it a little more in the video, but pretty much what it is, is about um, your like estate planning, like your wills, they talk about four type of estate plans that you need. Um, you have to get like lawyers involved and all that stuff. But pretty much you have to talk about or you have to make a plan to for what happens after you pass away or if you become uh, not able to work again or can't speak or move. Uh, they talk about what you have to do, papers you have to write out, people you have to give the power to to control your money. And I felt that was a huge topic that no one ever talks about. And it is super important. And luckily this book does discuss it about two hours in. Uh, the book is about six and a half hours on audiobook. Yeah, like two hours in they discuss it. And I was just like, this is mind blowing stuff. I've never heard about this before. I need to do this for myself. Because if you have any stocks, any investments, any money, just God forbid you get into a car crash and you become unable to move, you go into a coma or something. Um, people know what to do with your money. They know what to do with your life. And you need to plan that out. Also, this book is about sharing wealth. They talk about this at the very end of the book, a little bit scattered throughout. But about sharing wealth, enjoying the fruits of your labor, giving your money away to uh, charities, all of this stuff. Living happy because you can't live uh, like a sad life and just pretend like money is everything. You need The money is supposed to help you live a happy life. Donate to people. Give money away. That what brings you get real joy from giving money away. And I know that firsthand. Give money away to get money back or something like that. I don't know, but it's always better to give money away. With they kept, they kept saying this in the book. They said it's better to give money away with a warm hand instead of a cold hand, implying it's better to give money away when you're alive instead of when you're dead. And I do believe that's true. But we're gonna do a quick overview right now. So one of the first things they talk about in the book is the importance of goals. You need to have goals. I do say this in my videos. Goals are hugely important. You need to have a plan. You need to have something in place so you to know what to aim for. This was another thing they said in the book. You can't have a huge list of ingredients and not know what to do with it. You need to have a recipe to figure out what to do. Just as in stocks and in money, you need a recipe to figure out what to do with all of your ingredients, all of your money. Hugely important, you need goals. All of you people out there, you need goals in life. 
doesn't have to be financial related, but you need goals. Goals are huge. Also, they talk about risk management, you know, asset allocation, uh, having certain percent of money in one area, certain percent of money in another area, certain money in cash. Risk management is a huge thing that you need to learn about if you're doing anything wealth related because if you have all of your money in one spot, all of your eggs in one basket, God forbid something happens, you're going to lose it all. And risk management is huge. Um, as I said before, estate planning talks about wills. Uh, I don't remember the other three. There was four uh, pieces of paper that they told you that you needed to have. But estate planning is huge. Just, God forbid something happens and you become unable to care about what happens with your money or your own health. You need people in place to hire people up that can control your life, that you give them permission to control you, control your assets, all of this stuff, just in case something happens. Because if nothing, if you don't allocate people to your assets, guess who takes it? The government. And you don't want the government taking all of your hard earned money or doing deciding what happens to your life because the government, you don't want to have their, their hands uh, relay on what happens with you. Also, they also talk about asset breakdowns, and this means cash, commodities, stocks, real estate, all of the places that you can invest in and have capital, they talk about that. And that is also very important because not many people know about different uh, assets and ways you could put money to invest because there's huge amounts, but they discuss that. They also talk about building a portfolio such as uh, different percentages you want in different areas such as REITs or if you want technology stocks all of these different places asset location you want them spread out as I said um, you have to plan risk management building a portfolio is very important and they discuss that in this book they also talk about managing your portfolio uh, where to put it all that stuff and when to move stocks out of one place when to put them into other places things of that nature and the very final thing they talk about is sharing your wealth and this is very important sharing your wealth with a warm hand instead of a cold hand uh pursue your happiness live off the fruits of your labor you don't want to live off your, all of your money when you're 70 years old about to die you want to do it throughout your life when you're 20 30 40 years old when you have the energy to live and to do whatever you want because What's the point of making all this money if you don't do anything with it? It's kind of boring, you know? You want to use your money, enjoy the fruits of your labor, donate, buy things for people, buy gifts, live the life that you want. Don't just wait till you're 65 and retired. Live your life now, um, share your wealth, pursue your happiness, all of that great stuff. Give your money to charity. Uh, and they also have little, like, little things I really love about the book. Like, when you're giving money away... Um, to charity instead of giving say donating a house to charity it's better to give cash to charity and give the house to your children because if you give your house to charity it's going to be taxed on and your kids have to pay for the taxes so it's better to cut that straight out give the house to your kids give cash to charity it's a lot simpler it's a lot easier you save a lot more money that your kids don't have to worry about and just little things like that that other financial books don't talk about. Hugely important. I really love it. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. This book was very good. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Everybody should go check it out. Even though you might know some of the things in this book, you never know. There could always be that one piece of information that can make you a billion dollars. And you never know. This book was very good. I learned a lot from it. You as, you as well can learn a lot from it. So make sure you check it out. Um, I like audiobooks, so you read them a lot faster. It only took me about six hours to read it. You can play it at different speeds, all that good stuff. But make sure, comment below uh, if you want me to make a summary about the book. This was more of like an overview. If you want me to make a more in-depth, uh, particular summary, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoyed it. Comment below if you want me to do that. And also, read the book for yourself. Come back here. Uh, give it a week, you know, read it over. Take your time, of course, because there's a lot of information in this book. But you want to read it over, take your time, take notes, all that good stuff, and come back here. Leave a little two sentence, three sentence summary. Um, tell me what you guys learned from it. I love to hear from you guys. Make sure you comment below. Give it a big thumbs up if you learned something from this or if you want me to make the summary. So there you guys go. Make sure you check this book out The Path with Tony Robbins and Peter Malik. 
Thank you so much, and I'll see you again tomorrow.